Hi, this is your reporter from eSports Channel One, and today we have the pleasure of speaking with Eliezer Duran, eSports Supervisor of New York Institute of Technology, Old Westbury, New York. Hi, how are you? Hey, how you doing? Good. I understand you helped create the eSports program here at NYIT. How did that come about and why? Uh, originally, I was a uh, president of Game Club, and um, we had quite a lot of of, of players who want, who really wanted to get into the competitive field at NYIT. After that, we all rallied together uh, with a with a, a TESPA tournament called Here's of the Dorm, and we got everybody together to a ragtag group of people to play in our first for our first tournament at NYIT. What is the name of your esports team and what is your team involved with currently? Uh, we are the New York of New York Institute of Technology Cybers, and uh, we are currently involved with TESPA tournaments. Please explain how e uh, your esports program blends with the overall academic program at NYIT. Uh, well, at NYIT we we have a uh, a, a degree in gaming design. Um, it's something that we're constantly uh, adding into, into connecting with esports since it's pretty, it's very close, closely related, and we are integrating everything to the fullest extent uh, that we can academically. Briefly share with us what it's like being a student athlete at e uh, on the esports team at NYIT. Academics always come first here at NYIT, so we are always trying to integrate that. Um, we make sure that everybody's grades come in first. So uh, in terms of a student athlete on N at NYIT, uh, we are always making sure to involve everybody and we're making sure that it's it's a rigorous schedule in terms of in terms of practice um, we are always making sure we're always getting th uh, two scrims in a day uh, a week with other with other teams on Long Island and across America so it's 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 not the easiest thing in the world but it's 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 what we're trying we're trying our best here <laughs> How would you describe the level of competition at the collegiate level? Right now, the West Coast kind of dominates everything. Um, uh, if if you if you've ever searched up anything for collegiate sports, collegiate esports, what you get is University of California Irvine. You get um, University of Utah. You get um, everything on the West Coast, pretty much. Um, they're extremely competitive. It's uh, it's very difficult to be able to get everybody to get on that that kind of level because they do have quite a lot of resources over there on the West Coast. It's very competitive. It's it's rare for an East Coast team to get there, but um, we are we're we're, uh, we're practicing every day to see if we can get up to that that kind of level. But it's it's very it's cutthroat competitive. Uh, how does eSport gaming been accepted as a sport at your collegiate level? Uh, originally, we were just a club sport. Um, we started with uh, like I said, like a ragtag group of of. Uh, of players, but um, we recently were accepted by the athletics department, and we've gotten quite uh, funding for computers, and we've gotten the full support of of the athletics department with the uh, the athletics director, the president of the United of uh, of um, NYT is very excited about this. So it's something that we're very it, it's it's usually most colleges they start on a on a club level and they stay at a club level. But um, here at NYT, we're, we're lucky enough to be supported by the athletics department in every single and every part of NYT esports. Your esports team, the Cybears, competes in drop zone training grounds, Overwatch, and Heroes of the Dorm. Do you have plans for additional games? Uh, yes, uh, we are looking into StarCraft, StarCraft II. Um, we are looking into, for the next semester, we are looking into Perhaps uh, CS:GO, uh, Rainbow Six, anything. Uh, if there's if there's an interest in a certain game, um, we're always we're always sure to to make sure that there is a team for that. How does the Cybers rank uh, with other uh, esports college teams in the country, and where would you like it to be? 
<laughs> everybody would like to be at number one. I, I would I would love to be at number one, but that's uh, that's something we definitely have to work to. To be completely honest, um, for right now we are ranked in the East Coast. Uh, we haven't gotten out of East Coast conferences yet. Um, we are ranked last uh, Overwatch tournament we did. We ranked around ninety four out of two hundred schools and in the TESPA tournament. So um, there isn't a there isn't like a normal ranking in terms of like this is what we're ranking, but um, but I, we're 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 around middle of the pack for East Coast. What is your advice to a high school senior looking to attend NYIT and join your esports team? You're gonna have to really get your rank up. Make sure you're you're not only you're a good player, but you are a player who can work well with other people. Someone who can really really mend and show a leadership position on the team. It's something that, that you can't just come in with, let's say you're a League of Legends player and you come in and you say, okay, I'm a, I'm, I'm a challenger. I'm a challenger player. Okay, that means you're top rank 100 in the world, at least uh, of the East, of the, of North America. But if you don't work well with people, if you're not a person who's willing to work and grow with other people, teammates, you have a team, um, then it's, then you're not going to be part of the team. It's very simple. It's a team-based orient, uh, team. Like, so it, it, for what I, what, what I would really recommend is it doesn't, it, it, rank matters to a point, but after that, what really matters is how you can, to show that you're willing to grow, show that you're willing to take a leadership position if that's what's needed and, and really help NYT esports get to where we know it should be, which is top 10, number one, like at least in East Coast. Do you do any active recruiting for high school students right now? Uh, right now, that is look, we are looking into doing that for the spring semester. I mean, for the, for the fall semester, for the next uh, uh, coming fall 2018. So uh, not nothing at this moment, but it's something we are definitely, we are actively doing, we are actively looking into. Where do you see esports at NYIT in three to five years? We want to be a powerhouse in the East. Um, just like University of California, Irvine is the powerhouse in the West, followed by like other colleges. We want to be, if you search up N, uh, esports on the East Coast of the United States, you want to be the number one college, the first college that comes up. What advice can you share with other colleges and universities wanting to set up their own esports program? Uh, for that, I, I really think you just need a passionate group of, of, of students for that. Um, what you need is there are, there are quite a lot of opportunities for, for, for players to be able to really show what they're made of in terms of a team. They have uh, their programs like TESPO who are, it's, it's easy to start a club sport. It's not the most difficult thing in the world. Right now, it's the most difficult thing is just getting other players who are passionate about esports. It's, it's, not, it's not the most difficult thing in the world, but you need, to, you need to organize, you need to make sure that everything works out and making sure you have a passionate group of players for whatever game you are, are in and then just find a tournament and just, there's nothing, there's nothing bad. Just start it and just get in and that's it and represent your school. Do you have any final comments? Uh, final comments, uh, just, just do it. <laughs>